Petrology and Civil Engineering Petrology is important in civil engineering as it provides a proper concept and logical basis for understanding rock properties. It gives reward information about the color, strength, durability, chemical compositions of rocks, and the like. These inherent characteristics of rocks are of primary concern for a civil engineer when assessing the suitability of rocks present at a project site for the intended purpose. In most engineering applications, rocks are used as building stones. A building stone it can be specified as a rock that can be safely used as a rough unit or as a properly cut and shaped block, slab, column, or sheet in various engineering construction situations. Important Qualities and Properties of Rocks for Civil Engineering Projects Engineering properties of rocks are extremely important to assess in any civil engineering project. The following properties or qualities are important for a rock to be used as a building material. The first one is the strength. The stones to be used in construction should be solid and durable. They can typically withstand the forces they encounter in useful constructions, but they should be tested for its strength in constructions where the forces are unusual. Resistance to weathering or durability Stones should have a natural durability that enables them to withstand the weather and destructive effects of various agents that are constantly operating on them. Hardness The stones are exposed to abrasive forces caused by wear and friction. Thus, the hardness of the stones that will be used in these areas should be tested as well. A specific gravity and weight The specific gravity of a building stone is directly proportional to its weight and strength. Thus, higher specific gravity stones should not be used in dams, retaining walls, docks, and harbors. Then we have the texture and structure. Texture is the size, shape, and mutual relationship of mineral compounds in a rock. The development of large-scale features in the rock mass is determined by structure. Rocks may be coarse, medium-grained, or fine-grained. Good building stones should be homogeneous in structure. Different compounds often behave as separate units under the imposed loads, resulting in weaker character. Porosity and permeability A good building stone should not be porous. More porous building stones are not suitable in construction, especially for exposed surfaces of structures. The more porous the rock is, the more water it will absorb. Consistent presence and transmitting of water through it and leads to the damaging of the stone. Appearance it is a primary factor of building rocks used for face work. This property usually appears and gets involved where the stone is used in construction exposed to public view. The last one is the cost. A rock may be ideally suitable for use in building construction on the first or two considerations, but it may not be used for the simple reason that it is uneconomical. Cost of a building stone depends upon its availability, accessibility, and workability. Engineering Properties, Uses, and Importance of Igneous Rocks Igneous rocks are typically impervious, hard, and strong form. These rocks provide very strong foundation for civil engineering projects such as dumps and reservoirs. Due to its very high crushing strength, granites, cyanides, and dolerites are used most of construction works. Important Building Igneous Rocks Granite they usually have all the essential qualities of a good building stone. It is used for bridge components, retaining walls, stone columns, road metal, ballast for railways, foundation, and for coarse aggregates in concrete. Basalt It is commonly used in road construction, as aggregate in concrete production, rubble masonry works for bridge barriers, river walls, and dams. Engineering properties, uses, and importance of sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks have a wide range of applications. It is used in construction of almost all buildings and public structures. Cement, sand, and gravel are used to make concrete. Iron ore is used to make steel. Bauxite is used to make aluminum and asphalt rock that is used for roads. Important building sedimentary rocks. Sandstone. Sandstones in combination with silica cement are used in the constructions of heavy structures. It is used in masonry works, dams, bridge piers, and river walls. Limestone. It is used for flooring, roofing, pavements, and as a base material for cement. 
Engineering properties, uses, and importance of metamorphic rocks. These rocks are an important source of building materials. Metamorphic rocks are used for several purposes including roofing, flooring, paving material, and decorative gardening stone like slate which can be splitted easily. Important Building Metamorphic Rocks Marble It is quite strong, uniform in texture, least porous, and takes an excellent polish. It can be easily cutted and carved into different shapes. It is used for ornamental purposes, stone facing slabs, flooring, and facing works. Slate is used for damp roofing, flooring, and roofing, and quartzite is used as building blocks, slabs, and as aggregate for concrete. Methods of determining rock properties The rock masses and or soil deposits support or exert pressure on engineering structures thus affecting their safety and performance. Field or laboratory research is used to evaluate the engineering properties of rocks and soils which is then used for analysis and design. Rock properties are generally determined using one or more of the following methods. In situ testing during the field exploration program laboratory testing, and back analysis based on site performance data. In situ field testing, this type of testing is useful for projects under natural in-place conditions where obtaining representative samples suitable for laboratory testing is difficult, such as those involving soft clays, loose sands, and soils below the water table. Common in situ tests are performed in conventional drilled borings. Laboratory testing. Laboratory testing is used to determine rock strength like compressive and tensile strength. The strength of the rock varies significantly depending on the stress field applied to it. To determine the compressive strength, the following tests can be used. Number one is uniaxial unconfined compression test, in which a cylindrical rock core is loaded actually until it fails. And number two is triaxial confined compression test in which a cylindrical rock core is subjected to all around pressure by hydraulic oil acting through a thin impermeable membrane and loaded actually to failure. Tensile strength tests. Direct pull tests. A cylindrical rock core sample is anchored at both ends and stretched. Brazilian tests. A relatively thin disc is loaded across the diameter until it splits. Beam flexure. A thin slab of rock is loaded vertically in three or four points along its length. Back analysis based on site performance data. It is a quantitative approach to adjust soil or rock properties to match measurable site performance. It is commonly used in the case of geotechnical failures. When failures happen, back analysis can be used to model the conditions and loads which resulted in the failure. Rocks for various civil engineering purposes. Rock foundation. Rock foundations are often preferred over soil foundations because rock provides several advantages in terms of stability and durability. Even weak rocks have better strength and reliability compared to good soils. Rocks with high bearing capacity like limestones and granite are extensively used for foundations. Track ballast. Track ballasts are the crushed rocks that line railroad tracks. These non-porous hard rocks with jagged edges are important as it absorbs vibration, provides stability, and holds the sleeper in place. Without it, those sleepers might give away under the constant pressure of heavy passing trains. Rocks in concrete aggregate Broken or crushed rocks are used as aggregate in concrete which accounts for 60-80% to 80 of the concrete's volume. Including aggregate in the mix can control the shrinkage level, prevent concrete cracking, and minimize the total cost since cement is more expensive than rocks. Smooth surface aggregate can improve workability yet a rougher surface generates stronger bond between the base and the aggregate. Road Metal Road metal refers to the crushed and broken rocks used to construct a road. They must have sufficient hardness, toughness, durability at the place of use, cementation, and hydrophobic property for ensuring stability and durability of the road. Flooring and Roofing Rocks are also good for making roofs and floors like slate. They are better than man-made products in the sense that they are more weather-resistant. They do not fade from sunlight, they shed moisture, and do not erode with insect damage. And lastly, Rocks for Public Works like bridges, foundation and abutment rocks should be strong enough to support the weight of the bridge structure as well as the vehicular traffic above it. 
dams like Butch's dams can be considered even the foundation rocks are a little weaker. The rocks in the tunnel is clearly the stabilizing or load-bearing medium.